I left home at 14 years old. I had my own apartment before I was 15. Two cars, Cadillac and a Lincoln, before I was 16, and a baby. I grew up fast, but I grew up in these streets of Seattle. It's not easy pouring your heart out to a room full of strangers, especially when your life story is all about breaking the law. I sold dope most of my life. I never gang banged, but I had a, all the gangs around me because I was the guy. And so at age 14, I started smoking weed every day, started getting drunk, getting into fights, having a real bad attitude with my mom, with my teachers, people in the community. I just had an attitude where I just did not care. As a kid, Stephen Thomas was on his way to nowhere in a tough Chicago neighborhood. Fast forward 10 years, Thomas is a practicing lawyer in the King County Prosecutor's Office. Now that's a 180. I had an understanding that if I did not make a change in my life, I was going to end up dead, I was going to end up in jail, or I was just going to end up simply wasting my life. In this process that we go These presenters all have the same credentials, which can be summed up as, been there, done that. I wanted to be what I wanted to be, because I could do that because I'm in high school. How old are you? Their audience is young offenders arrested for the first time, kids who are about to have their first encounter with the justice system. And this new King County program called Program 180 is doing everything it can to make sure that does not happen. As a prosecutor, I have the discretion to decide when to file a case and when to hold back on filing. And so the deal with the juveniles is that if you go through the 180 program, we won't file that case. And you'll avoid the stigma of being charged with a crime and the stigma of a criminal conviction on your record. I got caught up for a gram of dope and a gun, right? This was a long time ago, and I had to realize that the decisions that I made back then affect my life even today. You have a phenomenal opportunity, as the prosecutor said. The goal is to be able to walk away and feel that you created a pathway of communication to the hearts of these kids. We're not crazy enough to feel that we can actually change or turn every kid around in four hours, but we can get a connection to create a pathway of communication to the heart of that child. One of the most meaningful things these kids go through is breaking into small groups, dialoguing, journaling, getting their feelings out on the table, and getting support right back. You told me something that really got to me. Mm -hmm. You're surrounded with negativity, right? Mm -hmm. You're surrounded with it. So the fact that you're so young, but you're surrounded with so much negativity, but yet you got something inside of you that doesn't want to head that direction. Just an arrow. My life, I've been, I've been in a good direction. And I just keep getting sidetracked, and I just keep getting, getting into stuff that I shouldn't be getting into. And I just gotta keep remind myself to keep just going up above, above what other people are saying is cool, above what other people are saying I should be doing. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that a lot. Good job. Good job. We are singing to these kids and hoping they like our voice. And they turn around and say, you know what, I want you. And we can start working with them. Hanging out with bad people or doing bad choices, some of them can make you do the wrong things or get you doing wrong things. Just to get them the thinking and then hopefully being able to communicate to their heart. Not their head, their heart. I was going in this direction and I decided I was going to turn around and I was going to do something different. Program 180 steers kids away from the criminal justice system, a system that can be a time-consuming and expensive due process we all pay for. We're going to measure success one kid at a time. Any way to stop feeding people into the system saves money and can turn lives around. <laughs>